Star Gladiator. Hey everybody, welcome back for another Capcom Fighting Edition of Show Rebukin, where today we're taking a look at the first game in a series that I would love to see make a comeback, and that's Star Gladiator, which was released in arcades and on the PlayStation in 1996, and it's actually one of the first PlayStation games I ever played, and I can remember being really impressed by it at the time. I didn't have much experience with 3D games at that point, and was blown away by the visuals from games like this and Battle Arena Toshinden, which is kind of funny now looking back, but at the time, this kind of stuff was amazing. Also, throw in that this game is heavily influenced by Star Wars, up to and including lightsabers and characters that strongly resemble Chewbacca and Darth Vader, and I was never going to not like Star Gladiator. The gameplay is pretty clunky in retrospect. It's kind of stiff and slow. This was a time when Capcom was still sort of exploring the use of 3D and later offerings from them like Rival Schools and the sequel to this game, Plasma Sword, would be much improved over this game. Still, it's pretty fun and easy to pick up and play. There's a combo system at play here that's very basic, so it won't take much time to learn a few characters and start having some fun with the arcade and versus mode. The movement in the game is very similar to games like Rival Schools and Street Fighter EX. It feels almost like a 2D fighter, but you can sidestep your opponent and perform counterattacks on top of that. And there are also ring outs in this game, something I don't think that was ever featured in any other Capcom fighters after this. The character selection is quite varied, and even though it's pretty rough around the edges, the gameplay is still really fun. Again, it was greatly improved on in the sequel, but you can still have a good time with Star Gladiator if you enjoy the early 3D fighters of the mid-90s. <laughs> K.O. Ready, fight! K.O. More so than the gameplay, I really like the aesthetics of this game and of the series as a whole. I love the character designs for one. Again, there's a strong influence from Star Wars here, but also the unmistakable look of a 90s Capcom game, kind of like mashing Star Wars together with a 90s anime look, which is pretty damn cool. The stage designs are also really nice. They feature some particularly colorful and detailed backgrounds, and you will be fighting in a variety of environments. Honestly, for 96, these are some pretty impressive visuals and still hold a certain charm to them to this day. Also, the soundtrack is really good. There's a nice mix of slow-paced and very spacey sounding tracks and some more high energy and heavy metal sounding songs, and you could pretty much always count on Capcom at this time to offer up some good music. So while it's not going to blow anyone away these days with its gameplay, Star Gladiator is still a pretty fun fighting game with a cool premise, great visual design, and a top-notch soundtrack. It's an underappreciated classic, in my opinion. So if you've never played it before, I highly recommend giving it a shot for you fighting game fans out there. Check it out. Oh. 